Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're building something insane. So check this out. So I was surfing the web and stumbled across this sick website called as vope.com. Now, if I scroll down, you'd see a carousel, which is this. Now look at this. When I hover over these cars, you see these crazy gradient effect, which looks really nice. So as you can see, when I hover over them, according to my mouse position, you see this glowing effect. So it's pretty crazy, right? We're kind of going to be building something like this. So here is what we have. As you can see, we have here six cards. Now, when I hover over them, we see a similar effect, which makes them stand out. And initially cards are dark, but then when we hover according to our mouse position, we have this cool gradient color. So this is what we're going to be building in this video using just simple HTML, CSS and vanilla JavaScript. No frameworks, no library. So without a delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. So let's start with our HTML. So inside of the body tag, we're going to get started by creating the simple structure. So we have here the cards div, which is basically the wrapper or our main container where all our cards live. Now within this, we have each card div, which will handle the sweet glow effect. And then within that, we have our card content, wherein you can put your content, but as of now, we don't have it, so we're gonna have it empty. So after that is done, we have the basic structure ready. I'm just gonna be pasting in some other cards. So, and that's it for the HTML. Here in our CSS, first we have the reset styling. So basically we're setting the box size into border box, which makes sure that the dimensions are fixed and the padding don't mess up with the width and height of the elements. And then also we have the margin to zero and then padding to zero. And then in the body, we're setting everything to take up the full viewport width and height. So we have width to 100% and min height to 100 viewport height. And then we have this dark background color, which is really important for the glow effect, just so that the glow can stand out. And then we're centering everything using display flex. After this is done, we're gonna target the wrapper, which is the cards. And then, so here we have the cards, which has the flex wrap, just so that we could have the cool grid effect. And then we have the gap of eight pixels, just so that we could have this spacing between each individual cards. And then we also have some padding from top and bottom and also left and right. And then we have the width to 50%, just so that everything is contained at the center. After that is done, we now move on to the card. So each card would have a fixed width and height, a background to none, and then a border radius of eight pixels, followed by centering everything. So the content within the card would be centered just so that if you want to add any content. So we have it using display flex and then we're positioning it relative since the glow effects is gonna be using the absolute positioning. So having position relative to its parent is really important. After that is done, we add a simple transition just so that when we add the animation or the hover effects, it is really smooth. After that is done, we're gonna target the before pseudo selector and we're gonna create this pseudo element just so that we could have the glow effect. We're gonna have it positioned absolute and set it perfectly on top of our card. And then we're gonna have the border radius same as its parent. So we're gonna have it inherit the border radius followed by the radial background. Now the background is gonna be a radial gradient with 960 pixels of circle at this position and these specific colors. After that is done, we're gonna set the opacity of zero, which hides it initially, then we'll reveal it on hover. After that is done, we're gonna add a bit of transition to this pseudo selector, and then we're gonna move on to the card content. Now for the card content, we're gonna give it a background color, the border radius same as its parent, we're gonna have it have a bit of transition and then also a fixed width and height. Now, one thing to notice is that is we're basically calculating the height and we're le leaving two pixels from top and bottom and also left and right. Let's save and let's see. So here we have these cards and when you hover, nothing actually works. The reason for that is we have yet to add the hover effects. So let's add the hover effects. So for the card, when we hover, we want them to scale a bit down. So we have the scale to 0.98. And then when we hover, we want the before to have the opacity of one. Let's save. And now when you hover, 
you could see that the cards start glowing up. Now in our JavaScript, we start by grabbing all our cards and our wrapper container using query selector all and query selector. Then we add a mouse move event listener to our wrapper. This basically creates an invisible tracking layer over our entire card grid. And every time our mouse moves across this area, the magic happens. So for each card in our grid, we calculate exactly where our mouse is in relation to that specific card. So we do this by using this specific calculation. So what we're doing here is first we have get bounding client rect. Think of it as giving each card its own GPS coordinates on the screen. Then we figure out where our mouse is in relation to each card by taking our mouse position, which is event.clientx and event.clienty, and then subtracting the card's position, that is rect.left and rect.top. After that is done, this gives us our X and Y coordinates relative to each card. Now that we have these values, all we gotta do is we gotta set the background for each card. Now, for the background, we have a gradient which is centered exactly where our mouse is. That is dollar sign X pixels and dollar sign Y pixels. And then we have this purple glow, which fades to transparent at 15 percent let's save and let's see so here when we hover over these cards we see the cool glowing effect and so yeah there we have it so hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something cool meet you guys in the next video till then take care bye bye and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell just so that you're notified whenever we upload a new video the source code is in the description so make sure to download that play with it have fun meet you guys in the next video till then bye bye